YouTube, it's been here from Team America One coming at you with an updated deck profile of my consoles. Got top four today at my locals, um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyways, let's just get started. The monster lineup is the same. Triple Polx, Triple Kaos, Triple Sombre, Triple Oggity, Bear, and Honest. Uh, I only run one bear. I think three is a bit much. Uh, two, I would run two if I could pick up the second one, but right now I'm in thoroughly enjoying bear at one. So, for the spells, reborn, heavy, book. I think book is a lot better than dark gold this format. So, uh, maining book, and then avarice as well. Avarice, uh, it's okay. Uh, one Rota searches your Pollux, and then triple Tanky to search your Bear and Cows. I run two Duality. Um, I'm not a fan of this. Uh, I'm trying. I was trying to, get to trying it to test consistency, but right now I'm really just not liking it. Um, so I think I may take these out. I don't know yet. Uh, one Counselor Star Cradle. Uh, double Forbidden Lance, double MST, a lot of people are dropping MST, I still think it's needed for those rogue decks, uh, and I played three rogue decks today, so I'm glad I had the MSTs in the main board. And then Triple Upstart, um, this is just to add consistency, it's an easy side out, so I like, uh, I'm liking it right now, so I think I'm going to keep it. And then for traps, warning, judgment, double torrential, double compulse. I wish I would have had one more compulse. One bottomless, uh, one deep prison. One of each, just because dragons will destroy you when you banish their big guys. Um, I mean, deep prisoning like. Draco Sack and stuff is good, but I think right now, um, with dragons being able to just do all that searching for when they're banished, I think one of each is good. So that's just my personal choice. And then the MVP of t tonight had to be Wabako. Um, this card just saved me so many times. Uh, it was ridiculous. Um, like opening this first turn against dragons. Uh, really, it stalled them out. I still got two owed, but I stalled out a lot longer than I would have with Woboku. Um, and I came close game two, but I just couldn't draw into my side cards. So, yeah, that's it for the main board. Um, now for the side. Uh, one Consecrated Light, never sided it. Two Drill and Lockbirds, I never faced Prophecies. Double Thunder King. I sided it in against Harpies. I'm not really sure what Harpies do. So. Uh, one Kaiku. The Dark Hole. Double Dimensional Fissure. MVP of the side deck, I think. That and Goals and Match. Um, this card won me against Frog Monarchs. I know that sounds weird, but I op uh, games 2 and 3, I opened D Fissure both times and just completely stopped him from doing anything so uh, double mind drain it's okay double goes in I wish I would have had that at three um, this is an MVP as well uh, coming doing it it put in work um, put in work against heraldic beast it put in work against dragons it put in work against um, Frogs, so, and then Soul Drain. I never made Soul, I never sided Soul Drain. I probably should have, but actually, yes, I did against Frogs. And then onto the extra one Photon Pappy, double Star Leash, one Utopia, one Gem Knight Pearl. Uh, Gem Knight Pearl, I, I like this card, it was good. Uh, one Prey Recipe, two Omega, 
One Shockmaster. I never make Shockmaster. I always go into a Pleiades play if possible. One Volcasaurus, MVP. Two Pleiades, again, MVP. Ptolemy Sevens, and Gaia Charger. Um, anyway, so that's what I was playing tonight. Uh, my matchup went as follows. I opened up against Heraldic Beasts. Um, he won game one, I won game two and three. Um, game one, it was just unexpected. I didn't know what it was, so uh, it caught me off guard. Games two and three, I just came back, and Pleiades was great. Uh, Goes and match was great. So, uh, round two was against Dragons. Uh, that was that was bad. Um, he just opened up really. Oh, I shouldn't say that. He didn't open any. He didn't actually draw a Rejuve against me. Um, but he still just. He he destroyed me. Um, it was a good match though, and it was from a. I was playing a friend, so it wasn't that big of a deal. He, I think he finished three one just like I did, but. Um, Scrap Dragon and Draco Sack are just nasty. Um, and so I lost there. I got 2 0 Uh Game 3, or round 3, I went against Harpies. Um, um, that was also a friend of mine. He beat me Game 1 pretty bad. Uh, big guy is the thing. Um, games two, game 2 and 3, I kind of just blew right past him. Uh, he drew pretty inconsistent, which is the thing with Harpies. Uh, consistency is the only problem. Otherwise, I think they'd have a pretty good um, pretty good deck, but consistency is a key thing in the deck that just uh, just is um, hurts it. And then round four, I went up against Frog Monarchs. Uh, this was to get into top because we were both 2-1. Um, game one, he beat me. Um, it was close. I brought him down to like 1300, but then he just, he he pretty much got me in a scenario where I, I had to play whatever card I drew, and I didn't top deck well enough, so uh, I lost there. Uh, game two, he almost, no, no, game one, I lost because of Lad. Um, that's really why, what it came down to. Um, game two, I beat him, open D Fissure, he couldn't do a thing. And then game three, same thing. Open D Fissure goes in. So uh, he drew pretty inconsistent game three, which is why I think I won. Um, um, but yeah, so overall I was pretty confident. I had to drop around top four because I had to leave and help. But uh, I would have faced prophecies, and the guy was 4 0. Um, I don't want to be like, oh, I was going to lose, but. Uh, my deck has, I guess, counselors sort of have problem with uh, prophecy, and my side deck really wasn't based around prophecy, um, so I I don't know, but um, but yeah, so pretty much, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just blabbering on, but uh, tonight was fun, uh, top four first time for me. I don't usually top a lot because I either have to drop or um, whatnot. I've topped eight before with zombies, um, and now I just top four with counselors. So uh, it is a competitive deck. Uh, it doesn't have a bad matchup against dragons if you can get your combo pieces off. But the thing is, hand advantage is key, and dragons always have hand advantage no matter what you try to do. Uh, and that's the thing. Uh, when you go off on your combo plays and counselors, you lose all your hand advantage. So you're down to one or two cards. Um, that's why you rely on your back row. And with dragons, they just... If you can if you can slow down dragons, it uh, really helps counselors. So, like, it really helps your matchup. Uh, especially with counselors. So, um, siding those mind drains and gozens really slow them down. Um, game one, I opened pretty good, actually. But... He heavy stormed and kind of surprised me because I didn't think dragons played a lot of back row removal because they just went off, but uh, made sense. So, uh, but anyways, that's pretty much my deck. Uh, I'll be doing a gadget deck profile soon. Um, so yeah, 
stay on the lookout for that. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.